Hey everybody, Larelia here, and today I am doing a video um, based on a common question. I actually got it uh, last week about three times. Um, two from, I got the question twice from clients of mine and one from a person that I had a consultation with. And the question was, I thought I'd do a video about it because I know other people um, may be dealing with this as well. And I've gotten this question many of times before. Many people have asked me, or should I say, don't even ask, suggest. Hey, I'm currently working on my credit and I'm also doing someone else. Now that someone else can be a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, or what have you. And like I said, a lot of times they're not asking, but they're in a place of overwhelm. And the first thing that I tell them, and I always, before I even give the answer, I'm going to say, you're not going to like my answer. And my answer is, is that you can't help someone else until you get some results. What are you helping them with? <laughs> you can't give from an empty cup. If you are currently in a state of overwhelm because you're dealing with debt that you cannot manage, your credit score is low and you're trying to um, increase your score. So now you're in a place of learning, trying to rebuild your credit and doing your own credit is enough because most of the people that I'm working with are, are DYIers. They're do-it-yourselfers. These are people who are hungry for the information and want to do it themselves. When you're doing it yourself, you're at a place of learning. You haven't mastered it. You haven't mastered the law. You haven't mastered the process. You haven't even mastered results. And now you're going to take on someone else's burden and then say, I'm going to help them too. See, what's going to happen is, is a confused mind does nothing. And you are going to get overwhelmed with the amount of work that you have to do. Because two of the most common things that stop people right in their tracks, and that's why I said is the two most powerful letters that a credit bureau can send you. The first one is um, this, um, the dispute is frivolous. And the second one is um, it has been verified. Two of the most powerful letters that a credit bureau will send you and everything ceases and stops. So now here you are dealing with two situations, your finances and someone else. And that's why I always say, if you are currently going through what I just mentioned, debt, bad credit, you have a empty cup. Your cup is dry. Your cup is rusty. You have nothing to give from that cup. Get some results. When you get results, you get some confidence. Now you can stick your chest out and feel like, okay, I'm getting some results. I'm seeing the light at the end of the road. Now you may can take on someone else's. But I still say get to the point of the goal of where it is that you're trying to get to. There should be at least a goal when you start this process of rebuilding your credit. It should not be, you know, a... Uh, 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 um, a um a, a, a trap shoot you know like well i'm gonna do something i don't know what's gonna happen um you should really have a defined set goal of what you want to do hey um i want to increase my credit score i want to eliminate a certain amount of uh counts on my credit report whatever the case may be and get those results so that's why i said you know many people feel like i'm going to do it for the other person and this is what I said, for a husband and wife, I had a class back in June. I had a husband and wife who, um, who were trying to rebuild their credit. I said, Either, between the two of you, you all decide on whose credit you want to work on first. That's the credit you focus on. Get some results, then move on to the other, you know, spouse credit. 
But for those individuals who have boyfriend and girlfriends, come on. I mean, it is it's obvious. There there's no vested relationship in that process. I know when you're dating, you kind of figure, you know what, I'm gonna be with this person forever, but unfortunately, there has not been any type of matrimony vow in place. So what me so what happens is, and this is what I tell people, and you're not gonna like this answer, um, is that if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Have them to make the investment. If you have invested in courses, invested in classes, invested in books, and invested in knowledge, invested in software, whatever you have did, and now you're on this road to rebuild your credit, but you have a boyfriend or girlfriend who is in that place too, they're rebuilding also. Have them to make the same investment that you did. Because what will it benefit you for you to rebuild their credit and then they go on their merry way, <laughs> you know, because things happen. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. You know, I know people saying, well, that can happen in marriage too, but, but a lot of times there are vested things that's involved in a marriage. People may have kids, they may, you know, um, it's, it's just not easy to walk away. So for those, you know, who are saying, well, it's like that with marriage too, for some, so for some people, they take marriage seriously. So it's not as easy, you know, with a boyfriend and girlfriend, it is just what it is. It's just a relationship that either party can just walk away. Why would you want to invest all that time rebuilding someone else's credit? Let them make the investment. Let them make the investment of time. It don't even have to be a money investment, but the time investment, the time investment that you've taken to, to read books, to study the information, to study the law. Have that person to do the same thing. So once again, this is Lorelia. Like I said, it's not going to be a very popular video, but it's something that I, I just had to do because it's a common question. I got it three times last week. Said the same thing I'm saying now. So I hope this video has helped you. If you want to learn more about um, some of the things that I'm currently doing, helping people rebuild their credit, helping people to educate themselves financially, all my information will be under this video. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Bye-bye.